Jacques Azaguri created many of Diana's best remembered dresses in the final years of her life. These dresses, which we see here, are so identifiable as the later part of her life. Now, she wasn't necessarily a risk taker, but do you think she, she got more risque as she got older? Yeah, absolutely. You know, she went, she went completely away from the very sort of grand ball dresses and went down to these more fashionable looks. You know, it was the time of the supermodels. It was the time of all those great girls looking fantastic and wow, wow, wow. And, you know, she wanted to be on the same level. Dresses were getting shorter, cleat features getting lower. Uh, for instance, with a little blue dress there. It ended up really very short on her. She was five foot ten and a half, five foot eleven with that shoes on. And from the waist to the hemline was 20 inches. And she would wanting to go even shorter, but of course Paul Burrell, her butler, um, said, no way, you can't go any shorter than that. So she did take many more risks towards the end. She started wearing black a lot more, she started wearing more figure-hugging dresses, sexier dresses. This black dress here. I saw her the night before the famous interview with... Um, Martin Bashir. Martin Bashir. And she says, well, I've done this interview. Tomorrow night I have to be in at an event when it's going to be broadcast. And she wanted something black and something sexy and something that says, I'm a free woman, I'm going to do what I want. And that's why she went for this figure-hugging dress with a train. Very, very simple. So it was saying a lot of things in the one dress. Now, this beautiful black dress, this was her last public outing that she was seen in this, wasn't it? It was. And this was actually the night after the Christie's auction. It was for her 36th birthday at the Tate Centenary. Because you gave it to her as a birthday present? I gave it to her as a birthday present, yeah. Now, you were planning more pieces for her, which, sadly, she didn't get to wear. When she was coming back from Paris, she was going to a premiere, a film premiere. And uh, we did, actually, the last fitting before she went to Paris. and. It was probably the, just about the most daring dress she would have worn to that stage. It was a very low cut plunge at the front, very high slit at the front, all black sequins with a train, you know. And um, sadly, she never got back to wear it, yeah. Now, looking back on it, I think, wow, you know, I dressed Diana, you know, Princess Diana, who's just like, you know, a big part of history now. and. I was one of the designers that was lucky enough to dress her.